Hello there. Welcome back to Monday Minute Live. I'm Kip. And I'm Evan. And today we're going to talk about why it's not only futile, but actually entirely self-destructive to believe you can change the past. <laughs> so uh, in my writing, Secret Powers of Love and Secret Wisdom of Love is the quote book coming out first. I talk about these fundamental tenets, like if we want to be able to release the trap that we're in with letting our emotions rule us rather than our heart, that a few simple things that are not always so simple, but simple to understand at least, can be massively impactful and influential and helpful to us. And so um, last week's Monday Minute Live episode, we covered Never Speaking the Fear, which right. is just the primary fundamental tenet. And then there are three fundamental tenets. And today, we're going to focus on the first one, which is we cannot change the past. I see so much human turmoil. I see so much wasted energy. I see so much attention focused on something that's completely futile when we're dredging up the past and as if we could change it, as if we could do anything about it. We're regretting it, we're remorseful over it, we're bemoaning it. And the, the clear antidote to this, as we've discussed in some of our programs, is getting catharsis, releasing, let it go. In other words, dealing with the emotional impact of how we feel about the past if it's negative, so that we can release it and move forward. We tend to keep going back to it because we haven't gotten enough catharsis, we haven't gotten enough healing, and that generally comes through support. It comes through talk therapy, Sigmund Freud's famous concept he developed, talk therapy, but we can do that with each other. We're here to support you. Put in the comments what you're feeling and we're gonna respond to you. Find a trusted confidant who knows we're not just complaining, but we're releasing negative emotions so we can move forward. And, and what, what we're really talking about here is letting go of your attachment to the past. It doesn't mean don't look back, don't learn from your history. Of course, that's incredibly useful, valuable information, but just like what Evan's saying, what we don't want to do is enter a state of constant regret, guilt, and shame, because those will not help you grow and they will ultimately destroy you. It's our life story to write. We have the opportunity to make it a love story. There's madness all Let's around. Let's get mad madder by the minute. But we Come can... to souldocumentary.love and love us because we're going to love you back. Yeah, and we can make it a mad love story. So let's do that. See you next week. We love you. Two, three, four. Let's write a mad love story. One that is ours, not mine. Let's write a mad love story since we've lost our minds.